Hi there, this is Chris with the American Society of Home Inspectors, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up your member profile on the newly updated ASHI website. So starting out, we are here on the ASHI homepage, and you'll notice at the top that I've already logged in as Rose Buckley. Now Rose Buckley was gracious enough to allow us to use her profile as an example in this video. So to get to the profile editor, if you're already logged in like I am, you can go to the dashboard tab at the top or going over to the members tab, get the drop down, and click on member dashboard. Once you're in the dashboard, you can see at the top, there's a large module that says edit member profile. Click on that and we can get started. So here's the profile editor. You can see there's various categories to upload different information and assets to reflect your business and your offerings. Now before we start editing, let's take a look and see what the profile looks like on the public end. Click view member profile at the top. Here's what the profile looks like on the public end currently. As we can see, there's areas to upload images and insert our own information to customize it further. Now that we have a sense of what it looks like on the public side, let's go back and begin editing. So the first place you want to begin with is the address information section. Now this section might be the most important part of the profile, as the address you choose for this section will be the one that the Fine Inspector search uses when clients search for you locally. You will notice there is already address filled in from the ASHI database. You can use this one, or if you'd like to use a separate one, you can add an address here and choose its function. Start by clicking Add a New Address. Once you have filled it out correctly, hit submit. Now that you have uploaded a second address, be sure to click set as find an inspector address. One thing to note that any address added here will not be shown publicly. It will only be used in the back end for the algorithm to pull you up when people search in your area. Moving down, we have the photo section. Now for the profile picture, you can upload a headshot or a logo, whatever you wish for your company. For this example, we have a headshot here we'll be using. Once that's in, we can move over to the cover photo. Again, you can use whatever sort of photo asset you want to represent your business and your brand. For this example, we have a company logo we will be using in the correct dimensions provided. The next section is the contact information. Now the email address and phone number will be automatically pulled from the database like before. However, you can upload a different one that you see fit. Feel free to add any websites or social media platforms that you want displayed on your profile. For this profile, we'll be using Facebook as well as YouTube. The next section is the contact form notifications. Now this section is completely optional. However, if members want to receive additional alerts via phone or additional email, they can upload those here. When you get a contact request form from a client, you'll be alerted on your primary e email as well as any texts or additional emails you provide. Next up, we are moving into the business and inspection portion of the profile. Starting out, we will go over the property types category. Now all the profiles will have single family homes automatically selected. However, you can turn that off if that is not part of your business plan. For Rose's profile, we will select historic homes, 
multifamily homes, and new construction. Moving over to additional languages, feel free to select any languages that you speak and use in your business outside of English. For Rosa Profile, we will use French. Now moving down to additional services, this is a section that will vary greatly from member to member. Additional services is a compiled list of any services or offerings that go beyond the ASHI standard of practice or may require additional licensing or education associated with it. Feel free to start by selecting all ones that apply for your business. For Rose, we will select infrared thermography, pre-drywall inspections, DEX, energy audit, radon testing, and wood destroying organisms and insects. One thing to note is that if you see one that is missing that applies to your business, feel free to submit a request to add a new service to the list. Moving on down, we have the bio and company description. Now, this is an open text box where you can write about anything you feel is appropriate concerning your background, your business model, or previous experience. Rose has supplied a pre-written bio, which we will insert now. Next, we have state licensing. Now, this might not apply for all members, but those who practice in licensed state will wanna upload their state licensing information here. To start, click add a new state license and insert your information here. If you have any issues with your licensing, do not hesitate to call up ASHI's membership services and they can help you out with that. The last thing you need to do is click on this checkbox, which certifies that all the information you added is accurate to the best of your knowledge. Once you've done that, hit Save Changes. Once you see the green box, you can know that your changes have been successfully saved. Now you can go over to View Member Profile to see what the fully customized profile looks like. So here you are with the updated photos, contact information, social media platforms, property types, languages, additional services, bio, and licensing. Now at the bottom, all profiles will have a contact request form so that clients can easily reach out to them. And there you have it. That is what a complete profile looks like. We hope you enjoy using the member profile and you customize yours to the best of your liking. Thank you.